Now, if I start writing here Chicago and press enter, then you can see the address related to that Chicago from the database comes up here. And if I click this, then it will get filled inside the form. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 25th video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are using this DOM content loaded event. And after that, we are taking here a reference, all of our HTML elements that we are going to manipulate. And then here we have a small address database. If in the search box, user types something related to these addresses, then the suggestion will come up. And if the address typed by the user out of these addresses, then it will say no address found. Now going ahead, we are heavily utilizing the event listeners here. So if user types something into the search box and hit enter or click on the search button, then it will make a call to this search addresses function. And in the search address function here, it will first check. So it is a simple validation. If the query is empty, it will simply return. And if there is something into the address, then we will filter our address database. And whatever be the result is there for this filter method, we will store it inside the filtered addresses. Then here we will show the search result. And for that, we are creating here a div as well. Now, if the user clicks on this suggestion item, then we will call our fill addresses form and it will fill the address into that form. And here we have the function for that. So I'm not going deeply into each and every detail, but here is an overview of the code. If you need this code, then GitHub repository link is present inside the description of this video. Now, before we take a look on our UI, there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like. And here we have the UI.